Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I wanted to share with you guys one of my all-time favorite salmon recipes and I'll be making my teriyaki maple glazed salmon with maple and avocado salsa. This dish is just wow. It's such an explosion of incredible flavors and my favorite part, it's super, super easy to make. We're going to start by making our own homemade maple teriyaki sauce with ginger and garlic and then marinate the salmon. While that salmon is marinating, we're going to make some mango, avocado, and tomato salsa to go on top. It's super refreshing and so delicious. My husband and I love this dish, especially during the summer months or whenever salmon is in season. I was able to pick up these gorgeous king salmon fillets at my grocery store yesterday. I am so excited to make this dish with the salmon. Let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make this incredible seafood dinner. And for today's recipe, I'm going to be using two pounds of king salmon. You can prepare this recipe with just about any variety of salmon that you can find at your local grocery store. And I've portioned the salmon into four pieces. I'm going to set this aside and let's get started on that homemade maple teriyaki sauce. It's going to be so incredible. So I have a quarter cup of soy sauce and to that I'm going to be adding in a quarter cup of maple syrup. Pour that right in. I'm also going to add in a quarter cup of water. Next I'll add in a tablespoon of sesame seed oil, a tablespoon of rice vinegar, a tablespoon of pureed ginger, and five to six pressed garlic cloves. Drop those in. And we're going to grab a whisk and whisk this all together. And then pour this marinade over the top. This is going to be so, so delicious. And then we'll cook down this marinade into a sauce to go with the salmon. I'm going to place my salmon back into the refrigerator and let it marinate. You can marinate it anywhere from 15 to even 45 minutes, just depending on how much time you have on your hands. Meanwhile, we can get started on our mango avocado salsa. It's so refreshing and it's the perfect topping to go with the salmon. And for my mango salsa, I'm going to peel two medium-sized mangoes. This recipe will also work really well with peaches. If you could get your hands on some really ripe seasonal peaches, they would taste so great here as well. And I'm going to finely dice my mangoes and then the tomatoes and the avocado. You want nice, small, little pea-sized pieces for the salsa. And then add the mango into a medium-sized mixing bowl. And today I'll be using two medium-sized Roma tomatoes and I like to cut them open and then just scrape out the seeds and all the juices. Next up, one large avocado. Next, I'll add in a little bit of chopped cilantro and about half a cup of a diced red onion. You can also use shallots. And I'm not going to mix my salsa just yet. I'm going to set it aside and dress it when we're ready to enjoy the dish. And now back to my salmon. This has been marinated for about 30 minutes now and I'm using some rubber tip tongs to remove the salmon out of the marinade and then I'm just patting it dry on some paper towels. I'm doing this because I want the fish to have a really nice sear on the outside and having a little bit of moisture can interfere with the fish getting a really nice sear. So just pat that dry and don't throw away this marinade. We're gonna pour that into a separate saucepan and I'll be using a small little sauce pot I'm just going to pour all this marinade into there and you want to make sure you get all this ginger and garlic as well and then I'll take this over to my stovetop, bring it up to simmer and simmer for anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes until it's nicely reduced. And I'm going to preheat a large frying pan over medium high heat. You want the pan to be extra extra hot and I'm adding in a little drizzle of avocado oil. And once my oil is really hot and it should be slightly smoking, I'm going to add my fish skin side down first. And 
and I'm going to fry my salmon with the skin side down first for about two to three minutes until it's really nice and crispy and then we'll keep turning it every couple of minutes until the fish is nicely brown and golden all over. And for a thicker cut of salmon, like the king salmon I'm using today, you also want to make sure that you get the sides. So flip it over and make sure you cook the sides. And once my salmon is done cooking, I'm going to take it out of the pan gently and place it onto a wire rack to rest for a couple minutes before we dig in to enjoy. And while my salmon is resting, I'm going to finish up my salsa. I'm going to squeeze in the juice of two limes. It's going to add a lot of fresh, zesty flavor. And you'll want to season the salsa to taste with a little bit of salt. And I'm going to pour on about two tablespoons of olive oil. It's really going to just help bring everything together. And then use a spoon and mix it all together. And putting this dish together is just as easy as it is to make it. So I like to pour a little bit of the sauce that I've reduced on the stove top. I'm just going to pour it right over the top. It's going to be like the perfect, perfect combination with the salmon and the salsa. And then grab a few spoonfuls of that salsa and just place it right over the top. And that's it, it's super, super easy, and this is going to be so delicious. And check out this incredible salmon. It's just so flaky, and it's at a medium doneness on the inside. And I like to grab a little bit of the salsa to go with it. This is the perfect bite. And that's it for my teriyaki maple glazed salmon with mango salsa. I cannot wait to dig in to enjoy this. For the full recipe, don't forget to head on down the video description box. I'll have all the ingredients and the recipe link down there as well. Meanwhile, let's dig in to enjoy this. And I like to have extra sauce on my salmon, so I'm going to pour a couple more tablespoons of that over the top. Now, this sauce is a little bit on the salty side, so I recommend, um, under seasoning the mango salsa so that you can kind of balance things out. All right, let's dig in. Oh, this looks so good. And I love king salmon. Whenever I see it at the store, I always try to get it. Grab a little bit of that salsa, some of the salmon. This is the perfect bite. Mmm. Mm-hmm. And I have had this dish probably a hundred times and it never gets old. It's so incredibly delicious. I love the, how the mango combines with the salmon and then you have that teriyaki sauce. So incredibly delicious. Mmm, mm-hmm. If you are looking for a new and incredibly delicious salmon dish to try, this is the one. You guys are gonna be blown away with the incredible flavors. I have made this dish so many times. I've probably been making it for about eight or nine years now, and it just never gets old. Those flavors are so incredibly delicious. That homemade teriyaki sauce goes so well with the salmon. You add a little bit of that mango avocado salsa. It's just the combination of flavors, I think, for me. You have a little bit of that uh, savory flavor from the teriyaki and then that refreshing sweetness from the mango and then that salmon especially this king salmon that I picked up so incredibly delicious you guys are going to love this dish don't forget to head on down in the video description box for the recipe and if you do make this dish I would love to see your photos you can always share with me on Instagram Facebook or even Pinterest thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time with a new recipe